now joined by the head coach of Drexel University, Denise Dillon, and student athletes Holly Murton and Jasmina Rozeal. Coach, could you please make an opening statement? Uh, well, we're, we're certainly pleased with the outcome of the game. Uh, we knew going into it, facing Towson for the third time this year, we certainly did struggle, uh, and facing them so many times in the tournament was always uh, an issue for us. So I'm proud of the girls and how they battled and, and continued to play through the run that Towson made, tied it up, and uh, we, we stayed composed. We did what we needed to do down the stretch to get the win. Definitely. You look at the uh, threes, obviously, we had five to their zero. And then uh, I think from the foul line, we did a nice job. Uh, I, I think we did a better job this entire season on the board. So I think that's why we came up with some wins. And, and to win a game with getting out rebounded by 17 uh, shows a lot of what our offense uh, can do. And, and again, the turnovers have certainly been something we've struggled with. And 13 is not a bad number for us. I think 13 is the number of our team today with mm -hmm. Holly, Jazz, and uh, Jamil having 13 points, 13 re or 13 turnovers. 13. We're going to go with lucky 13. 13 fouls, 13 shots, 13 points. <laughs> 13 fouls, I'll take it out. <coughs> a lot of film. Uh, we know their players. We know what they're capable of, and they're playing some great basketball this season. I think the seniors from Blackwell and uh, White have really stepped up and are playing some really good ball. So just talking to the girls about uh, what we need to do defensively. Obviously, rebounding is going to be a number one focus. But uh, it, at this point in the season, you really have to focus on what you're capable of doing and what your team uh, is about. And instead of getting so caught up in what the other team's going to do, or they're going to outthink themselves. So we're going to stick with our game plan and uh, focus in on what we need and then set some of the intangibles and challenge them. And looking at this, we're not pleased with the rebounding. So we know tomorrow's isn't going to be a greater battle. Well, I, I know we've been in the position uh, the past couple years uh, on both ends. And I don't know if there's really an advantage or disadvantage. I felt the first half today we were able to get a little bit of the jitters out. Uh, and with playing a number of younger players, I think that's good. Uh, but in you know Wilmington's case of having experienced players, it, it's probably helpful that they were able to rest today. So it can go one way or the other. Uh, I know our girls have flakes to play, so it's not going to matter uh, that they put in today's game. They're happy with the win and fires them up for 